Namaste fam, Wolfcore here, and today I've got another farming video for you in Sekiro. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is come to Ashina Castle, the Antichamber, and we're going to be farming Divine Confetti off of the Blue Samurai. Now you're going to need this Divine Confetti for fighting bosses like the Headless, Sessionman Warrior, and Orin of the Water. And you don't get a whole lot of it just lying around in the game, and you don't unlock an inf infinite vendor supply of this stuff until the end game. So you may want to actually do this run. Plus it's a pretty decent run for experience and okay for gold. So what you can do here is to optimize is go ahead and pop your balloons of wealth and possession. Personally, I wouldn't recommend using the balloon of wealth. If you are trying to farm gold, there are better places to do that. I have a good video on that that I will have at the end of this video if you want to check that out. So save your gold balloons if you're looking to farm gold, but go ahead and pop your my boo balloon of possession. As you can see, you can pop it right there. You've got a little time while that guy's patrolling past and uh, it won't aggro him. And you're just gonna sneak around this room in the pattern that I've shown. It's very safe, it's very hard to get detected. Take out all these blue samurai, very easy. Sometimes that uh, wall separator won't be there, but you can sprint up and take out the guy that we just killed, even when it doesn't spawn in for whatever reason. Now, we obviously aggro the other one, so we're just gonna sprint back to the start, hug this wall, and wait for this guy to patrol over. Now, we could just fight that guy, but I find these blue samurai are actually pretty tough opponents, and there are eight of them in this run. They have a very difficult thrust attack to counter with the Makiri counter. It has a really small parry window. In my experience, I'm sure some of you guys out there are better than me, and you can just cut up eight of these guys no problem, but I was having trouble consistently killing them, so I developed this stealth run just to make my life a little bit easier. So we just wait for him to de-aggro, sneak up and assassinate him, and you will also get some bonus pellets from this run. It's not just Divine Confetti. So sneak up. In this room, there are three enemies. Go ahead and take out the basic bitch samurai. Turn directly around and take out the old lady. Sorry, sorry, Grandma, I feel bad. And then just sprint away. We're gonna run back to the start of the room, just as we have done. Hide here, wait for this guy to patrol over. Now you can see two more of the blue samurai have aggroed from the final room and they are in the room that we were just in in the back there. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna catch those guys on their patrol back so we can take out one of them and then the other without having to uh, to de-aggro the second one or fight him. On this guy, we're gonna wait for him to look left, then right, then catch him right as he's staring down the middle. He has a very small assassination window, so for that particular moment, make sure you're paying attention. And you can see we got our second divine confetti there. Now, fortunately, we do catch these samurai on the patrol back, so we can take out the first one. And the second one doesn't aggro, so we don't have to de-aggro him, and we can just sneak up, take him out, easy peasy. Nice. Now, there is a third part to this farm that I developed. You don't have to do this part if you're just trying to get Divine Confetti, but if you want to get a little bonus experience, run into this room, aggro these three bird guys. They do drop, or give a good amount of experience. Then just sprint up these stairs to the right, hide around the corner, and while they are a little inconsistent with their movements, uh, this method usually separates them and makes them very easy to take out, either by fighting them or you can assassinate all three. It's a little inconsistent, but these guys are easy to fight when they are by themselves. Uh, so the run has a total of 14 enemies if you do the three bonus bird guys. Uh, that gives a total of 939 experience. Uh, 252 of that comes from the Birdman, 687 comes from the base run. The gold from this run is 411 from the base run and 96 from the Birdman for a total of 507. And as you can see, Divine Confetti drops pretty often. I got two from this run. I've got three in, uh, is the most I've ever got from a run in the past. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, check out my gold farming video if you are interested in farming a little bit of gold a little bit more efficiently. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you join our awesome community here. And I love your faces. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.